Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning land on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the type of inheritance. So when we derive a class from a base class, you know, we used to specify the access specifier as public, private and protected. So when we use the specific access specifier, you know, while uh, deriving from a base class, you know, that access specifier is going to have a certain impact on the behavior of the base class members in the derived class so if it is confusing don't worry you know when we see the example it's going to be clear so here in this tutorial we're going to learn about the public inheritance a public inheritance is nothing but using the keyword public while inheriting from a base class so here for the demonstration purpose i have a class called person you know this class is going to act as the base class in our program and as a protected member i have a member called name and uh, as a public member i have a method you know which is going to initialize this protected member name all right now i'm gonna build a derived class called student and this student is going to be inheriting from this class person so here we're going to use the access specifier as public so this type of inheritance is called public inheritance so when we use the public inheritance you know which is the most commonly used inheritance type you know all the public members of this base class are gonna act as the public members of this derived class and also all the protected members of this base class are gonna act as the protected members of this derived class and if we have any private members in the base class you know they are not available in the derived class so now here in our program you know this protected member name of this base class will act like a protected member of this class student and uh, the public method of this base class person which is set name is going to act as the public method of this class student so just to demonstrate that here in our tutorial let's build a quick method let's have access specifier public and this method is going to display the value of this member name so it's going to be void display you guys can give it any name and we're going to use see out and it's going to be name and let's end this line all right now we have our base class called person and we have our derived class called student and we have the public inheritance here all right now let's create an object of this class student so it's going to be student and anil now the public member of this class person or the base class is going to act as the public member of this derived class or the class student and that's why we can access this public member outside this base and the derived class that's why i can access anil dot and then the set name so let's set a name anil and then we have the public member of this class student we can access that so it's going to be anil dot display and let's save this let's build and run this program just to make sure that it's working properly all right we got anil now you know this protected member of this base class person is going to act as the protected member of this class student when we use public inheritance at that time you know this name is not available outside from this derived class so if we have any other class which is inheriting from this class student then this name can be available in that class but you know this name is not available outside this base class or the derived class that's why if i try to access that name here anil dot name and if i set to some value let's say ani you know it is not possible and it's gonna produce the error so i'm gonna build and run and we get the error and if i open up the logs it says person name is protected so when we use the public inheritance to inherit from a base class you know all the public members of the base class are going to act as the public members of the derived class and all the 
protected members of the base class are going to act as the protected members of the derived class and if we had any private members you know they are not accessible in the derived class so this is it guys this is about the public inheritance in c++ in the next tutorial we're going to learn about the protected inheritance and i'll see you in the next tutorial